How to use Bondo to patch mistakes. We always keep Bondo on hand. You never know when you might need it doing a DIY home improvement project. When we were making the top to my craft table, um, the circular saw got off. We actually had a level and clamps in place, but Neil had to reach over so far he was stretching. <laughs> and so it just got off and left a jagged cut. And we did not want to buy a new piece of plywood and start all over. So we used Bondo. Mix it up according to the directions. Um, it does have some strong fumes. Um, so just be aware of that and just stir it up and you need to use it pretty quick after you make it because once you add um, the hardener to it, it will start getting um, firm pretty quick. So use it quick. Apply it to the surface using a putty knife. You put it on liberally, this stuff sands off really easy. You'd rather have more than yeah. you need. You probably heard Neil talk about um, putting it on liberally and it sands off easy. Um, just keep in mind that it does get kind of firm. You have to work fast, so that means you don't, but you don't have to be real neat. You can just really kind of lather it on um, and be very generous because it is so easy to sand off. Once it dries, then go ahead and sand. If you need another application, just mix it up again according to the directions, add the hardener, and then go ahead and apply again. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Just depends on what you're trying to fill in. Holes, deeper crevices need a second application. Apply again, the second application, same as you did the first time, fill in any holes, crevices. Sand again. After it dries, it's ready to prime and paint. We primed the tabletop. We painted the tabletop. Here's a close up, and it is gone. <laughs> we have made several headboards from old doors or even new doors. And this one actually had holes in the door and we use Bondo to fill the holes. And matter of fact, when, when I went to try to find the hole, take a picture of it, I, don't, I can't even find the original hole. So it really does make a difference. This is another headboard we made from a new door. It actually had a hole where the doorknob was supposed to go, but we did not need the door. Long story, renovation issue. And so we just put Bondo in it, painted it, and you cannot even find where the original hole was for the door. Bondo is a great solution for holes and other such mistakes that you make. Click the link in the description for the corresponding blog posts and for other related links. For other DIY home improvement projects, visit lifewithneilandsues.com.